Look, the cockatoos are eating African box thorn. See, that's wild African box thorn. That's what they're doing. They're eating African box thorn berries. Oh, they're eating the leaves, are they? What are you eating? I didn't know that you eat the leaves. So the cockatoos eat African box thorn leaves. They certainly eat the berries. Could they be eating the berries green? I don't think so. What are you eating? You're eating leaves. So Australian cockatoos are eating African box thorn leaves. There is a native version of this plant, so perhaps they're used to eating the native version, which is Lyceum austral. This is Lyceum ferrocissimum from Africa. I didn't know that. They certainly eat the berries, relative of the goji berry. You're eating leaves, aren't you? Lyceum ferrocissimum, so-called because of those ferocious thorns. All parrots eat the red berries when they have ripe red berries. I don't know that Lysum Austral, um, well it doesn't grow everywhere anymore because of farmland, but Lysum Ferrocissimum is a noxious weed, I think. They're always coming and spraying it. The council are always spraying it. I know that goji berry leaves can be cooked and eaten by humans in small amounts, but I don't know if humans can eat Lyceum ferrocissimum leaves. Well, their tummies are full of African box thorn leaves. That's another reason to respect African box thorn. The fruits are sometimes sold apparently as goji berry, dried goji berry. You're being watched, aren't you? You know you're being watched, don't you? You do, I can tell. I can tell. Don't be like that. I can tell it's being watched, I can tell. They're very clever, aren't they? They're very intelligent. Well, it can't be poison, or otherwise all the cockatoos would be dead everywhere, wouldn't they? They would.
I didn't know they ate the leaves, but I know it now. They'll be covered in red berries soon. Aren't they lovely? Come out again, son. <laughs> 